Hello. And I'm trying with a different screen orientation, Pam. So I hope, I think it was Pam asked me. Pam or Sue? Oh, typical, something goes da da da. Just ignore that. That's just my iPad tweaking underneath. So um, I'm trying with this orientation. I can see that you can see a lot more of my table, which also means a lot more of my mess. I should possibly have tidied up that little pile over there. Where am I? This is what it normally looks like. No, this is tidier than it normally looks, let's be honest. So I've got all these papers, if you remember I showed you last time, and I thought it'd be quite interesting to just update you on where I am with them, which is in a bit of confusion at the moment. I've got a couple of nice collages made. Um, this is the first one, um, which I'm really pleased with. It's very, very simple. These are based on, like I said last time, this um, sort of mid-century modern um 1950s 1960s and these are taken some from fabric designs um and which have all these jugs on which has also and pots on which has also brought me into a bit of interest into the same period's china um things tend to expand only once you get interested so this is the first one i'm really pleased with that this is just on some mixed media um board i think it's called it's not perfect it did warp a bit but it's come out quite nice and flat now and I can just mount that one up now. I'm not going to stitch these. This is just, um, this is something that I want to do. I don't want to always stitch everything. Um, and this is um, another one. This is the first one I did, um, which I really love. You can see they're quite different, actually, in feel, aren't they? They're, um, and yet they both have that kind of mid-century feel to them. Well, they do to me, and that's all that really matters, to be honest. So this one is on watercolour paper. Again, it did it did warp a little. Um, I don't want to take them down when I'm collaging because I often want to go right to the edges. Um, but they're nice and flat now. I've ironed them and then I've stacked them under something heavy. And I've got some, um, I've got a steel actually, these frames from Hobbycraft um, or half price, which is excellent. Um, and so I'm just going to frame these um, into those and those are going to make i'll show you them when they're done properly but you can see that's going to make a really nice piece of um artwork for the wall and they're pleased with those as is that one so i'm very happy with those so far and i will do some more of those those are a three size um let's put those away and then i thought oh well okay i've done those let's cut out or let's sort out what's left, which is a huge amount of stuff. Um, so I don't know why I'm showing you my sorting system. It's of no use to you whatsoever. But anyway, here it is. So these ones here I've pulled out as all being um, more or less the composition. I'm happy with it as it is on the piece of paper. Um, they either want working back into um, or they are something that i think might lead to a to another collage so these first ones are ones that i'm happy with as is i just need to work back into some of these you know that color is too dark in the background against this it's all a bit lost um so i'll get out paints mixed media and work into these I might do some of these in the mixed media workshop actually that'd be um that'd be quite handy it gives me a bit of um bit of ammunition for that so we saw these last week but i'm you know there that's lovely but i need to bring the roses up this one i absolutely definitely need to bring my roses up they've nearly disappeared but i do i do like it and i like this broken down um if i get it right up here this broken down um stenciling in the background these all come from the jelly plate these prints another rosy one and then there was these ones um which uh you know i just love as is um i almost don't want to have to separate it because i'm gonna have to decide who gets truncated there you know does this one lose half a leaf or and or does it keep half a leaf and get a strip of black or do i frame it up as is don't know with that yet i haven't decided that's fine this needs working back into to bring this up another one to work back into another of these rose ones this gain is done with um clear gesso i can feel or it might have been with ordinary gesso. I can't remember what I was doing now. Um, but it's, it's, I can feel it's chalky. And another one for working back into. And two more. Um, those actually need very little working into. I think they could just be split. And I need to find some A4 size frames for those. And the same with those. And then 
Oh, and more and more. Right, so that's that pile. That's my working back into pile. I thought there was something else in there, but there isn't. That's in another pile. I told you my organisation is not great. So the working back into pile is going to go in a drawer, which, of course, I have just happily here filled up. Right, so in that drawer, I am going to put those are to work back into and frame. So they're the simplest. And then here, there's another small pile of things. I'm not sure how many of them are things like that. Yeah, all of these are things that I think I might potentially use within their backgrounds. Um, so, for instance, this one, I love the background this leaf is in. The leaf probably needs a bit of kicking up, but what I might do here is cut out part of this and the background um, and then add a pot to it, you know, so I could get, um, I could get a free pot, not necessarily that colour, but work a collage starting from this background. You know, that's my thought with that. I just, I do like the background that's on. I'll almost certainly take this spotty bit off. Um, I may well use it in the collage around it. But I just think that would be a nice starting point. I think on one of the finished ones, is it this one? That's cut apart quite a lot. But I did these flowers... I did keep them in their frame and cut them out from the background and then cut other areas out. Um, but this this ring round was on the original piece of paper. I'll chop one out so you can see what I mean, make it a bit clearer. And these, again, I think this is a nice run of pots. I think they probably want a bit of working into, um, but that's okay. But I think this would make a nice basis for a collage. Um, adding adding plants on top so for that one i would need um oh they're all stuck on there um i would need where's my leaves tray here's my leaves tray let's find some leaves i would need some leaves um or or plants or flowers and i could add those in to this collage and start with that maybe work on a larger piece of paper i'm not quite sure i could cut this out from here um which i've done me show you these I've done here with some these were on thinner paper I can't even I don't even know which way up they go I think they go like that um, these are on thinner paper so I've cut them out but I've cut these out on the basis that I could use these together as the start of a collage so you know I could start is that the right way up do we think or do we think that no it's got to be that way hasn't it you know I could start with those and then pick myself other pieces of collage um, that I wanted to go with them and add these on to this piece um, and make I mean, it's just about big enough there isn't it? it's just about big enough but I could see that working as another nice A3 piece so that's what I mean about taking an element um, where I think I might use it whole and on this particular one you know I really like the background on there as well so I don't even particularly want to take that out I might just take out the half pot there and that would leave one, two, three, four, five, six and a half pots. Um, okay, I can see why I did it like that now. Um, I might take, oh, I don't know. I could take it out and keep that separately and then lift it up further and have a gap between all sorts of possibilities. You know, maybe I would combine that if I took the top off with a piece like that. I'm not sure. I've just got loads and loads and loads of ideas buzzing around my head at the moment. Another one um, where I would definitely like to keep this line together. I love this golden yellow in the background and I quite like the green down there. I'm not so bothered about the green. That could come off um, and perhaps part of this background could come off to make a more interesting composition. These ones are going to need some fairly big sheets of paper or board for me to work on. I can see over there I've got some quite large canvas boards, so I might I might work on those um, direct to the canvas. Another one, another line of pots. I obviously got into this idea. And again, you know, I think I would like to take them out, keep, I mean, again, this background's glorious. I love the background I've done, and start adding... Um, some elements into this that that goes better on there than on the last one doesn't it um it doesn't look good in that pot you see you see straight away you start fuss fuss fussing um but that could have a, a lot of fun and a lot of possibilities there 
This one's a single one, but again, I just love this background. You learn a lot when you're doing things like this. I obviously, I really like these spots um, in, in conjunction with this theme. I think it works really nicely together. So that one, again, I would like to work with that and adding, oh, that's a whole, that's a whole thingy. And that one I keep picking up and then I don't like it much. That's the truth. That's the truth. Oh, here's, here's an interesting thing. There's an interesting fun. Look, there's a, that's completely the wrong colour, but it doesn't matter, does it? It's an idea. It's an idea, look. We could have, it's also incredibly fiddly, but hey, never spoil a good collage just because it's a bit fiddly. See, I could have that onto a background, put some plants in it, maybe take it out at a level and work this as part of a bigger collage or indeed just make it an A4 one and add a few elements. You know, it's almost it's almost done, isn't it? It just wants a bit of stuff in it. This is the opposite way around. This one, I think I really like the background again and this leaf and I think, well, maybe I'll keep the leaf on the background and add, in this case, a pot to it. Do we have a single pot? And just add a pot to that and use some of that background and build up a collage from there. Sometimes you just look at something and that's another one that strikes me like that. In fact, I am noting all of these that strike me like this so far. I've had the spots on, haven't they? I obviously appeals to me a lot. So that, again, could be a good start um, for... Let's find some different pots instead of that one because I have got lots of different pots here. Look, this could be a good start for... Um, a pot and a break and I wouldn't use the whole of this piece of paper I don't think I think what I would probably do is cut um, an element of that background out but not all of it you know perhaps I, I don't know I would need to fiddle around with that and say I mean that does actually look really nice like that maybe I would do it like that and build up collage around you know it's one of those things you work it out as you do it that's a, that's that's a pretty gorgeous pot that isn't it i think i cut that out of a printed piece of fabric that i'd done um rather than did it on the jelly plate there's another storm trooper of a pot love that pot don't like it with that line but do i like it with this what about with that one? Oh, crikey no don't like that at all much nicer with the blue side, but I would find something for that to go with because it's so gorgeous. That goes rather well with these, look, doesn't it? It goes very well with those. It goes beautifully with those, doesn't it? There's a, there's a nice composition just getting going on there. Um, so let me put my leaves back in there. I'll explain my trays. I've got a tray system going on as well. And just a couple more here of the same sort of thing. Um, are those actually I don't know why I'm keeping that in there because I'm not that keen on those in the background and those in their own background it is a nice background but I'm I'd be quite happy to cut those out so I will put those into I've got a pile over here that still need cutting out these I think are in some lovely backgrounds um, so again I might well use that background as is cut this in half but use that background as is and add a pot and some elements of that background and I've got a collage working already. This is why I like um, over dyeing my materials because I just get a lot of colour and pattern. Oh, would the yellow pot look nice with those? Oh, I say, I should cocoa. You see, that would make a lovely composition, wouldn't it? We take out the top, not all of it. I think we take out an element at the top and put that in and then use some of this gorgeous blue from round the edge um, to add in and make a collage. And you don't really need it to be very, very fussy then. Um, what I did with the other two that I finished is I did paint the backgrounds um, very lightly, um, but just so that there was a small element of pattern in them. Um, this one I painted in very pale, um, peachy stripes. Um, I was picking up the color, very pale orange. Um, colour, um, which I then knocked back with loads and loads of gesso, but that's given a really nice background on that. In fact, you can barely see it. Can you see it if I get it up close? Yes, you can. It's very faint, but it just puts a background into the collage. And this one, I just put some stenciling onto the um, watercolour paper in the background, just to add a bit of interest. For once, I actually wanted some white showing, which is quite unusual for me, but I did. So I left the white paper and the white board on the other, but I have added a bit of tiny pattern into it. So with something like this, I might do that again. I don't know, I might cut that out. 
I mean, I could again take this lovely, you know, there's a gorgeous border here, which goes beautifully with my pot, doesn't it? So if I put that there, I could cut out that lovely donut to go with that and maybe a bit of this background um, paper as well. Um, you know, I would just work it up and work it out as I go along. I don't like that one in there. But that's quite, that's rather nice. I like that one. That's a nice, that's a nice combination of patterns and colour. Um, I'm going to have a lot of collages here. I know I am. Um, are we at the bottom of this pile? Very nearly. And then there was another, both of these, I think. Um, it's on cartridge paper. Could cut these out, but I'm rather fond of the background. So I considered, at least considered the idea of using these as backgrounds. Um, I would need a bigger sheet of paper than this, but keeping those and then adding elements probably not these elements but they're what's on the top there you know adding elements into these pots and building up a collage behind those are definitely not the elements to put in those pots are they they're awful they're awful that's dreadful Dread dreadful but it doesn't matter what i do know is somebody out there will be saying oh no i don't think they're dreadful at all i love that combination i think that's just fabulous so i would cut this smaller but i might keep these as part of the background so that's what all this sidelined lot are. They're all things that I think I might use um, in whole pieces. So that's a second collection of held back bits. It's going to take me half an hour to explain my system. No wonder my videos go on. It's impossible. Impossible to be brief and honest. That's my opinion. So then my system here is, I started cutting out from my papers and I was just cutting out and realising I've got an awful lot. So on, oh, you see I've already messed it up, just talking to you for five minutes and I've messed my system up. This tray here is either whole, let me get my white piece of paper again because we need that really to see what we've got here. Either whole pots and leaves, okay. So I've got a whole pot that's on deli paper, so it's quite it's quite foldy around. Well, get yourself on there. It's quite foldy around, but I've got myself a whole. It just looks nice like that, doesn't it? Um, I've got a whole image like that, which I could use as is, or I could um, start adding other bits in. You know, I would all, I would start then collaging around this. I might add other leaves or flowers into it. I've got a tray over here which is all flowers. I haven't got many flowers, but I could certainly add more into this. Um, even though it's whole, I could just put that there and arrange things around a bit fiddly, but hey, I'm quite happy to fiddle with collage. I think it makes it so interesting. I'm not saying I necessarily like that combination, although I don't mind it touched. I think that looks rather nice, the green and red. Complementary colors, get it off center. Get it down into one of the sweet pots. Sweet pots! A sweet pot on my piece of paper. And it's hard not to like that, really. So I've got this tray of... Um, some of them are whole pots. And that comes off the leaf tray, which at this moment in try... Ah, oh, there. Um, no, that was the tray I was showing you. That's what I was showing you. So it's either pots plus or it's just leaf, leaf sprays. You know, so I could add into there a leaf spray um, in the same in the same colours. Um, and I've got lots of leaves. I'm OK on leaves. I've got a few of these um, kind of um, that. You're a pot. Get out of my leaf tray and you're a flower. Get out. I've got a system. I've got a system. Just try and follow the system. Um, so I've got a real variety of my colours here. I've got lots of um, loose leaves because I might want to... Um, I might want to construct by putting in a pot and then adding on my original fabric. The leaves were ridiculously outsized, um, so I'd be quite happy with this sort of size here. I then need to cut some stems, but that's perfectly doable. So I could construct some elements. See, that looks quite nice with that as well. I might do both on I might do two pots on here. 
who knows what I'll do until I get going. I just find it very exciting. So this is leaves, the occasional pot. Oh, look, there's a nice one. There's a nice pot. Oh, there's a couple here of crackers. Just hang on. Let's move, let's put leaves back in there. So rather than cutting them all out as I go along, I thought, oh, I'll get everything cut out. Then I've got, you know, I can fiddle through and choose. The only problem is it's getting quite a big pile of stuff that I've got now. So I feel as if now I probably need to collage some of these down. But you can see I've got some lovely, I love, love, love that orange one there. I found some papers, actually. These weren't done at the same time. And these weren't on the jelly plate. This was some screen printing, I believe. Um, but with donuts on, and there's lots of these kind of squared off donuts in mid-century design. And the colours in that, you know, would be perfect on something like this, wouldn't they? They would look really good together. Um, so that tray, that tray, for what it's worth, is leaves and pots and leaves. Leaves and pots and leaves. You can see the problem I'm having. Things are jumping around on me. And then this tray is just pots. Um, let's put leaves over there. So this one is just a huge variety of pots. I've got absolutely masses of pots. I've done a lot of, that's not a pot, that's misfiled. Um, that's one, look, that I've cut out and kept in its background because I actually think well, that's a nice background. I'm, I could might well want to use that like that. Um, so I need to work into that pot. I can see that, but I might use that um, as it stands. You shouldn't be in there either. You're a donut. God, it's disgraceful. Mind you, that donut could look quite good behind that pot, couldn't it? That would be a nice combination. Or perhaps with the donut. Yeah, that's quite nice like that. It could be sat on it. You might angle it as if it was a bit of a table or something. Lots of options in here. That's a leaf. Wants to go in the leaf's tray. Um, but there's lots, I haven't even cut out all the handles yet, but there's loads of different pots in here in lots of different colours. So I can moither through and use them. And I've got these lines of pots. Um, there's a couple of them that I cut out as lines because I think it would be nice to use them like that. And I could, of course, use those and then add in more pots or indeed I could add in a different shape. Oh, oh, I see. Look at that. That's the same, isn't it? Um, I could add in a different... Oh, I say, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And I could, of course, then arrange piles of these pots too. Can you tell I'm getting excited? Oh, look, there's a whole, there's a whole one, but it's in the wrong place. It should be in the other tray. It shouldn't be in here, but that is very nice, isn't it? Let's just move that for a minute so we can see that. That's beautiful. What a glorious... No wonder I cut that out as one. Well. That's a really, really nice... Thing to do something with you should be over there um, but I could add I will get to it eventually um, different types of pots into here so ooh, that's a bit big and bold that might have to go behind because it's some water though we could just go with the jaunty that is an absolutely I don't like it I don't like it it's just a not it's too it's too big in there for me is that I'm not liking that we've got these smaller pots I think they're actually all that size the other shapes they're pretty big that's that's another that's another huge boy. Um, there's this one it isn't quite as big. Look, it's got a slightly different shape. See, I think I could use those if I use them with singles. Oh, no. could I? Or do I just prefer? Do I just prefer? I don't know. See, quite like that set of three. So having them like this is letting me play around with these and have lots of different options. I will be making these not all into pieces of work because I just have, um, I have massively too many. Look, isn't that a beautiful piece of paper that pots on? A really beautiful jelly print there. Um, so that's my pots tray. This is my flowers tray. I didn't print many flowers, um, so I need, to, I need to top up more um, flowers. That was a really hopeful outside of a flower. It's the, it's the, I'm not even going to try and get it down. It's the paper from around the outside of the flower. I think that was just so silly. I'm never going to do that. But, you know, you've got to, you've got to like my um, ambition. But there's some nice little flowers cut out here. Very simple flowers. We do not have complex flowers. We've got really simple flowers here, but they're nice. 
And I obviously could arrange some flowers with my leaves. So I can do flower arranging so I can get things like that and then put a pot underneath. You see that I could use that with those because they go very nicely with that. And there's a lovely purple bit on there. Maybe I would put a bit of a purple pot over there and another one there. And then I could, and that matches in with that. And then I could find myself a nice spray of leaves to go in there. It's actually very difficult um, to decide which of them to do. I've got so many options. But I always, I, always, I prefer to work with 100, 100 million options than any one. So that's those trays. Now, then there's this tray, which I don't honestly really know what it is. It seems to be just a tray of scrappy bits. I would say it was the negative shapes, except I know it isn't because this pile is all the negative shapes from where I've cut out. Um, and they are really beautiful. Um, and they, again, could make fantastic designs. Let's just, I won't go through the whole pile of negatives, but that's what all of that pile is. You know, so just for instance, you can just see a couple here that I think I have seen the pots for re relatively recently. Um, we had that gorgeous yellow and blue thing there. You know, so I can use a negative shape in with this pot just to make a more interesting design um, if I wanted to. If I can see that one. I mean, I don't even have to use the pot that matches with that. I've got plenty of that. I've got plenty of that shape. That's that shape, you know, so I might decide to use that negative with that pot. Um, just to put some more interest in my collage. So I always keep negative shapes when I'm working. Um, in fact, I always make negatives and I, always, I use negatives a lot. I find them really interesting for design. So that one I don't really know. It seems to be scrappy stuff. This one here is the donuts tray. Um, so it's where I've cut out bits that I think I might use as future donuts or indeed, ah, well that's not really a donut, but I can see why I've kept that because it's got donuts on it and I thought I might cut them out. Um, some, well, that's not really a donut. There are some in here that actually are donuts. So here's some donuts that I auditioned for something and obviously it didn't use, but you know, here's a couple of nice squared off donuts. So, you know, those I might use in the background of something because I do very much like donuts. Uh, you know, so I might use those and a pot. And, hang on, that flower's got themselves into there. They shouldn't be. That would just use every colour going and some flowers and some can I, find some can I find a set of leaves fairly quickly oh they've all got pots attached they've got oh there we are that hasn't <laughs> that's good because that's got us orange in that so we've got orange red yellow blue green and yet it still looks nice doesn't it it still looks nice and I love these in the background I think they really um they really I'm not saying I put them exactly there but you know they work with the design so that's the donut tray so that when I'm looking for a donut I can think ah right donut tray I'll go see what I've got in my donut tray. Um, and it also gives me places to put things as I cut out. Um, I think I should really stop more or less now. I'll just show you these two. This pile is just paper um, from my printing session that doesn't have anything in particular. Oh, I did some cracking donuts on there. Nothing in particular on it, but it's good. It's there as backgrounds. It's all from the same session. Some are from papers I've cut out. See, look at that piece. That's got to be used, hasn't it? It's just beautiful. Um, that's a negative. Oh, hang on. Some misfiled negatives in here. Misfiled negatives. So I've got even more negatives. Look, more negative. Oh, gorgeous negatives too. I might do some pieces all um, just negatives because I think that could be quite exciting as well. Um, you know, I like designing with just negative shapes and seeing kept those together aren't they gorgeous you know seeing seeing how that goes you could build a you know quite a nice abstracted um piece of work working with these i mean i just seem to have a few here for some reason um they must have been from a session i suspect 
but you know you could work you can work with things like that to make some really interesting stuff so we'll put those with the negatives over there and then this these ones are ones that i'm sort of in the process of um wondering what to do with um whoa whoa i nearly knocked you over there i'll just well, i'll just put just put you i'll put you back i won't try and move the camera um these are on this is mdf board um painting boards which i've got from sea white um and they're really good i painted them to check that they wouldn't warp like normal mdf would when it got wet um and they're nice and cheap and they're actually very smooth and a really nice surface to work on and i will put these into a floating frame afterwards and i'm sort of um, piddling around, fiddling around on here, sort of trying to work out what I what what I like. You know, I know here. I think I put them on here just to so I would remember. I seem to have lost a few leaves here because this will have had more than this on. But I love these colours on here. So this one I'm thinking of doing in quite a gentle um, mauves and lime. So I've got lavender. I've got lilac. I've got fig. And then I've got um, Vibrant Line, Key Line. And in the background, I've got um, just blues and limes in the paints. I think it was Robin Eggs Blue and Lime Paint that I used in the background together with a lot of white. Um, these were going to be abstract paintings. It's just when I, I must have just seen them and thought, oh, I think my pots would look nice on those. That definitely just needs another flower it can't be oh well hang on there's a flower without 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 we need some stems on there and i think a bit of a purple would be nice in something up above and maybe a donut i don't know i don't want too much on that it's only an a4 board but they're going to be really nice and i'm loving the backgrounds again i've gone over them once i decided what i was going to do with them i knocked back a bit of the painting i had on there um there's some collage papers in the background by the looks of it as well and just put some um dot some of that spotty stencil over um i've gone over half an hour haven't i about anyway never mind um so there's that one and then this one i saw this red pot and thought oh i just think that looks absolutely beautiful really really gorgeous so i don't know what i'm going to use with it i've got i've got well i've got lots of options here i've got these beautiful leaves which actually are quite nice and flat you see that looks nice doesn't it that color but then so does that, and that actually ties in very nicely with the um, blue spots I've got on my pot. So that's quite exciting, and I think I found some more of those leaves. So I could, I mean, I could just do those. I think what I was trying to decide here was whether I just want to do leaves, whoops, top falling off, whether I just want to do leaves, whether I want that in the background, because of the colour, or, you know, this goes very well as well, doesn't it? Let's take that off for a minute. And I doubt I've looked right through my stash either. Um, see, I do, like, I do like that leaf spray. I altered it from the original fabric. I've got some somewhere that are in um, six petals, but six petals, six leaves. I preferred it with five. I could have the stem over the top. Um, that's how it was on the piece of fabric. It, it was a piece of Eames fabric. Um, I believe. Should look that up. I think I called it something else last time. But anyway, you get used to me. I tell you what I believe. I always do put in I believe um, because then then you know that I'm just probably, well, I'm just thinking it probably is. So it could go over the top like that or it could go inside the pot and, and then it could have some of these as well because they would look nice with that. Some nice colour mix, very nice colour mix. Some more little leaves. So I haven't quite decided, and again, you know, I've got a red donut, haven't I? We saw a red donut, so a red donut could have just seen that. You know, I might have a red donut or a red circle in the background. That would, there's a million, there's a million options. Um, you know, what I'd like is enough time to make the whole lot. That would be wonderful. Um, sadly, I don't seem to have that. And then I did also find, just as a last bit, I found this tray, which has got lots of donuts in it from an exercise, um, with one of the make it personal groups and these are all there's 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 a collection of donuts now they're not all the right colors but some of them are lovely and i'm actually really liking those negative donuts you know i think that's quite exciting see you could have that and that and that and that and that could work very nicely or just that or that down there or that under there or that there 
so you can see how much fun I'm having with these. I will, um, I'll try and record you, what, uh, you know, I'll try and get a bit further towards actually deciding what I might put on one, otherwise the recording will go for ages, but I will try and record one of putting one of those down um, for you at some point, but I'm gonna stop now. I've overrun my stated half an hour, but I don't know how people do it in this. Um, so I hope that was interesting. It certainly got me excited. And, um, and everybody else says this, so I'm going to too. So please hit subscribe. Because now, why do they say do that? Well, just because it's nice is what they mean, because it's nice. And please hit like as well, because that's nice too. That's what they mean. Um, so please hit like and subscribe, because that's all very nice. And it just makes me feel better. Um, and I will talk to you all again soon. See you soon. Bye now. Bye.